Good day, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over a tricky math puzzle. Uh, one of my amazing uh, math students gave me this puzzle to solve yesterday. Uh, so I, I'm going to go, go around and, and do it right now. Okay, so this is a really tricky math puzzle. I bet most of you have seen it, seen it before. So it, really, it says, uh, you saw a shirt for $97. You didn't have the cash, so you borrowed $50 from your mom and $50 from your dad. So you have $50 plus $50 equals $100. You bought the shirt and had $3 change. You gave your dad a dollar and your mom a dollar. And you kept other the other dollar for yourself. Now you owe your mom $49 and your dad $49. $49 plus $49 equals $98 plus your $1 equals $99. Where is the missing dollar? Wait, what? Uh, okay, let's see. So, if you look at this whole puzzle, I looked at it over and over again, and I was like, I, I can't really see the missing dollar, but later on, after closely examining it, this is where the mistake is. This is where the false statement is. This remark right here. $98. Uh, $98 plus your $1 equals 99. This statement right here is false. Okay? Um, well, what's wrong? What's wrong with this statement? Well, when you're when you're calculating um, how much money you have, if you add uh, 49 plus 49, what do you get? 49 plus 49 is 98, right? What is 98 plus 1? 98 plus 1 equals 99. So you can see that this statement on the left is not equal to this statement on the right. That's a false equation right, right there. Okay, so this, this statement on the left, 49 plus 49, is not equal to 98 plus 1. They're two different things, okay? So what is actually the right remark to state, to state here? The right remark, what? that she hasn't stated is that you have $98. This $98 includes your $1, okay? $98 plus mom's $1 plus dad's $1. The $1 you gave to them, and that gives you $100, okay? So this 98 plus 1 plus 1 gives you $100. So this whole thing gives you $100, okay? If you wanted to write an expression using your $1 as a component of it, you must extract it from this $98, okay? Because when you give your mom and dad a dollar, you still have a dollar with you, as long as, along with the cost of the $98. So you're going to have the $97 for the um, shirt plus your $1 plus mom's $1 plus dad's $1. Okay, this is a more accurate rendition of this remark right here. And this one also, you also have to have a plus one here. Okay, plus that uh, $1 that you have with you. Okay, so this step to this step is a false equation. That's why you're missing a dollar. All right, so why is it that everybody has difficulty answering this problem? Well, it turns out that there are so many words and people get so entangled in figuring out the puzzle that when it gets towards the end, they don't pay attention anymore, okay? So you need to endure all the way until the end of the problem in order to actually find the error sometimes. So the lesson here is you have to examine every single line, including the last line, okay? Uh, in this problem, the bug was in the last line. That's why most people find it difficult. This statement right here is horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, okay? So I hope that helped clarify things. Uh, 49 plus 49 is not equal to 98 plus 1. All right, so there you have it. So thanks so much for uh, watching this uh, presentation. Please subscribe to my videos so you can watch other cool clips like this. Um, you can also request videos just like my student did to get this result. A collection of clips can be found on microserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.